In this video, we are going to draw some straight line graphs. I'd like for you to pause the video and to try and draw these two graphs on your own on the same set of axes. Okay, draw the graphs f of x is equal to 2x plus 3, so f of x is equal to 2x plus 3, and remember that f of x is just a way of naming the graph as a function, we can replace f of x with y. If we are going to sketch a graph, one of the best ways to sketch a straight line is to calculate the y-intercept by letting the x value equal to 0. So that will give you y is equal to 3, which is the point 0 and 3. And your x-intercept is the point where y is equal to 0, so that will give you 0 is equal to 2x plus 3. And if you solve for x, you minus 3 from both sides and divide 2 by both sides by 2. So that gives you the point negative 3 over 2, which is actually the point negative 1 and a half and 0. So if we sketch, if we plot those points, y-intercept of 3, x-intercept of negative 1 and a half, join them up with a line that extends well past the two points and put an arrow at the end of each line. And then the final step is to label the graph. Because this was given as f of x, we can simply label the graph with an f. If we have a look at the second graph, 3y minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0, we can start in exactly the same way. y-intercept, we make our x value equal to 0. And that will give you 3y is negative 1, so y is equal to negative a third. So that gives you the point 0 and negative a third, which if we plot that point, looks like that. And if we find the x-intercept, we let our y value equal to 0. So that gives us 2x is equal to 1, so x is equal to a half. So that is the point a half and 0, which if we plot is over there. If we now connect the two points with a straight line, again extend the line past the end of the points and put arrows on the ends. And the last step is to label the line with the equation of the graph. It wasn't given to you in function notation, so you label the line with the equation of the graph.